What's up guys, it's Sydney and this is your 30 minute full body hit strength workout. So grab your dumbbells and let's get started. What's up guys, I'm so excited that you're here for our 30 minute full body hit strength workout. Today we're using dumbbells. I've got my 15, 20, and 30 pound dumbbells as well as a sweat towel and my water bottle so make sure you have that some space to move. I'm gonna break down the workout for you before we start, but I'm so excited that you're here. So, workout today, we're gonna to be going in superset style with a strength and a cardio exercise, okay? We've got three minutes, three rounds of two exercises. The first 40 seconds of that first minute is gonna be strength, followed directly by 20 seconds of cardio. Directly back into 40 seconds of strength, etc. for three rounds. So you're not gonna get any rest until minute three is over. Then we'll get 30 seconds rest and then we'll have a whole new superset, okay? So it's gonna, be, gonna get intense, gonna keep your heart rate up, but I want you to know we're gonna switch without stopping for three rounds and then we get a break, okay? It's gonna be lots of fun moves that you've seen throughout the month. Whew, big deep breath, give me a thumbs up and we're gonna jump right into it, okay? All right, let's go, hands up overhead and I want you to pull down as you give me a butt kick in three, two, one, let's go. There you go. Don't forget to check out your vacation tickets in the description below. Our first big event here in Charlotte. Big boot camp, lots of fun people from all over. There you go. Three, two, now give me a punch to the left. Here we go. Left, right, left, right. Good job. Good, give me three. Two, and one, stop right back in the center. Go squat, stand, squat, stand. Work on opening your hips a little bit. Sitting back in those heels. Give me two more, here we go. One, and two, right here in the middle. Open, cross, open, cross. Great job, breathe. All right, stop here. Let's lock our arms right here at the chest. Twist your torso, get your abs working a little bit. So only 30 minutes. That means first minute that we start doing our strength move, I want you to give me your all, okay? Don't wait until minute 15 because you're intimidated. There's nothing to be afraid of. You've got this. I believe in you. You've trained for this. You're here at this point because you're ready. High knees, march, march. March, there we go. So don't doubt yourself. Don't take it easy on yourself because you're afraid you might fail or run out of energy. You're good, we've got this. There we go, all right, butt kick, speed it up a little bit more. Work the arms, relax your foot and just flip it back. Three, two, one, kick that front heel out. Let's scoop it down and switch. Woo, there we go. Anyone else a little bit tight in that back area? <laughs> Great job. Your first move is gonna be a pretty basic move that we've done here on the channel before. Squat and press. So be thinking about the weight that you wanna use for this first circuit, okay? Shake your wrists out, roll your ankles. So the first move, imagine dumbbells in my hand, I'll show you. Squat and press. If you need to slow that down, squat, stand, press, come back down. Your cardio move is an X jump. So you're here, light and quick, boom, boom. Okay, five seconds, we're starting with your squat and press. All right, grab those dumbbells. Here we go, two, one, let's go. So the strength moves do not need to be fast before they are strong and full of technique, okay? 40 seconds here, right into your 20 seconds of cardio. Great job. <sighs> 10 more seconds, you're just gonna drop the dumbbells, go into your X jumps. 
Last one, three, two, one. Good, right into it. Here we go, close hop, close hop. Good. 10 more seconds, and you're going back, squat and press. Three, two, one, right back, let's go. Big deep breath, here we go. Good job, tight core as you sit. Push into those legs from the bottom. Make sure they give you momentum. Beautiful. There we go, strong legs, strong core. You've got six seconds. Two, one, X jumps. Let's go. Right here in the center, open. If you're modifying, tap it out, tap it out, okay? Seven, six. Last round, are you ready? Two, one, last round, squat and press. Let's go. See if you can engage your glutes here. Come up with power. Come up with speed. Beautiful job, you got 12 seconds left. Four, three, last one. Drop it down, X jumps. Let's go. Quickly, come on. Good, go 10, nine, seven more seconds. Go five, four, perfect, two, one. You've got 30 seconds rest, amazing job. Grab some water, your next move, push press. So we're just at the shoulders, dip, press. Okay, push press is first, cardio, his lateral high knees, okay? Push press, grab your weights. We're going in six seconds. You're right here. Dip, press. Two, one, let's go. 40 seconds right here. Dip. Bring it down with control. Tight core when you dip. Make sure you're not rounding your back. Stabilize up top as well. Don't arch your back. Good, come on. Seven, six. We're going into lateral high knees. Two, one. Drop those dumbbells, let's go. Good, 20 seconds right here. And we're back to push press. You're doing great, how you feeling? I know that was positive, right? You're like, yeah! I wanted to keep positive. Three, two, one, push press. Here we go, no rest. Stay positive. If you can go up in any of these rounds, definitely do it. Just grab those weights and go. Great work. Ten seconds, come on. Keep those shoulders stable, they're right over your head. One more, two, one. Rest, high knees, let's go. Work it, breathe here. I know it's sometimes hard to breathe on those strength movements. Come on, breathe. Good, eight seconds. We're back to our last round of push press. If you wanna go up, grab your dumbbells right now. Three, two, one, last round, let's go.
Good, come on, we got it. Great job, 12 seconds. Five, four, one more. And rest, good. Lateral high knees, let's go. Last round, right here. Arms work, come on, come on, come on. 10 seconds and then we've got a 30 second rest. Let's go. Come on, two, one, 30 second rest. Beautiful job. Your next move in 30 seconds, so we're gonna start, if you look at the clock, at 20 minutes remaining, is a lunge and bicep curl. Okay, so you're gonna start at the top. Here, you're gonna start with a curl, step out, lunge, come back up. Curl, so you have a front racked lunge. Okay, switching legs every time. Let's go in three, two, one, here we go. Hammer curl up, lunge. Hammer curl up, lunge. Let's go, switch legs each round. Good, I want you to get comfortable with this front racked position, even when you're going forward. So I want you to practice not letting yourself Lean over that front leg, okay? 10 more seconds. And then we're gonna go butt kicks. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Give me some butt kicks, here we go. Good. That's it, now move side to side with me. You got nine, eight, seven. Back to your curl and lunge in three, two, one, let's go. Curl, front rack lunge. Now this is gonna be controlled by how much you can curl. So I know it might not feel like your heaviest lunge weight, but I want that curl to be controlled. And I want your body to control front rack weight position, core control. Good job. You've got nine, eight, three, two, one. Butt kicks, let's go. Move it side to side with me. Quick, 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 quick. Work the arms. Whew. Come on. 10, nine, one more round. If you want to go up and wait, grab it in five. Three, two, one. Let's go, last round. Beautiful job. Last 20 right here, let's go. Come on biceps, strong wrists. Seven, six, let's go one more, ready? Three, two, one, throw them down, butt kicks, let's go. Side to side, come on. Quick and small, boom, 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 boom. Lean forward just a little bit, okay? Go, 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 pump your arms for eight, seven. Come on, four, three, two, one. And 30 seconds rest. We're starting back here at 1630 with an alternating snatch from the floor. Okay, looks like this. Starting from the ground, your weight is between your two feet. Dig your heels down, engage your glutes, drive your hips. You're ending up with that weight right here. Eight seconds and we're gonna go together. Here we go, three, two, one, all right, let's get it. Pull it up with the left, down, and switch. Remember, it's all hip power. Dig the heels down, drive with your glutes so those hips come forward. 
and propel that dumbbell up. I don't want you getting it here and then pressing it, okay? Totally different exercise. I want that momentum from your legs to push that dumbbell straight up. We've got 10 seconds left. And then we're gonna go into mountain climbers. Four mountain climbers and a freeze. Okay, here we go. Two, one, bring it down. Let's go four and then freeze. So four, three, two, one. Hold for just a second. When you hold, squeeze your abs. Four, three, two, freeze. 10 seconds. Good job. Two, one, rest. Back to your snatch. If you can go up, let's go. Right into it. That's it. Strongest to you, come on. Drive those hips, come on. Woo. Seven, six, five. Get ready, mountain climbers, and let's go. 20 seconds, right here. One, two, three, four, hold. Great job. Seven, six, one more round in three, two, one, rest. Last round, snatch it up. Let's go, if you can go heavy, this is your time. And believe in yourself too. You gotta know, you've got this. We're already over halfway done with this workout. So if you're thinking, I'm not giving it my all yet, I'm waiting. No, 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 you gotta go. We're in the home stretch here. Last part, 10 seconds, come on. Five seconds, you're going to the last round of mountain climbers. In three, two, one. Mountain climbers for four and freeze. And then we're going into our 30 second rest. Come on. I know you're tired. I also know you can do this. You gotta know the same thing. No stopping for four. Three, two, one. 30 seconds rest. We're gonna start down here at 12. 50. Okay, we're starting with Romanian deadlift and row. Okay, looks like this. Two feet on the ground. Deadlift, hips go back, row, and stand. Okay, we're starting in seven seconds there. Let's go in four, three, two, one. Here we go. Stand up in between each rep, down, row. Elbows go back towards your hips, not up towards your shoulders. There you go, spine is neutral, don't be looking up. Look right in front of your toes. Abs are tight, butt is backwards. You're doing great. You got about 13 seconds, and then we're going knee drivers in the front. So come back up like you're gonna do high knees. In eight, seven, good. Three, two, one, watch closely. You got one, two, three, switch. Okay, come on and join me, let's go. That's it, 10 more seconds. Three, perfect, two, one, back to row and deadlift. Here we go, round two. Great work, come on. Last 20, heels down, squeeze those glutes. Elbows are going back towards your hips, remember? Not up towards your shoulders, back. 
Let's go, five, four, back to our knee drivers in two, one. Let's go, three per side. One, two, switch. There you go, one, two, three, come on. Speed it up, I know you're low in energy right now, but I know you're not gonna quit. Five more seconds, let's go, four, two, one. Last round, bent row, deadlift. Come on, finish with me. Good. Breathe in, row, exhale. Good work, come on. 20 seconds left. That's it, 10, nine. Come on, we're getting there. Three, two, one. Rest in three, Woo. per side. Let's go, one, two, three, and switch. Then we get a break. That's it, four, come on, three, two, one. 30 seconds rest, we're starting back at 9.20. Whew. We're going back to split jerks, okay? Remember those guys? Dumbbells at your shoulders. In 13 seconds, you're gonna dip, press, drop down under that weight with your feet, front foot is flat, come back in together. Ready? Let's go in three, two, one, dip, drop under, stand back up, then lower. Doesn't matter which foot goes out front. Whichever one keeps you more balanced. And notice I'm not going tightrope style. When I land, my feet are hip width apart. 20 seconds. Nine, eight. We're gonna swing into curtsy lunge hops in three, two, one, looks like this. Kick it over, back. There you go. Tap that toe back. Come on. Beautiful, get over quick. Keep leaning back in towards the middle. Perfect. Let's go nine, eight, seven. Good job, four, three, two, one, split jerk again. Here we go, round two. Whoops. There we go, stomp it out. Get him going, drop. There you go, give me 10 more seconds here. Six, five, one more. Two, one, curtsy lunge hops, let's go. 20 seconds, right here. Move it, move it. Use your arms as well. Come on, we got this. Six, five, four, Two, one, clean and jerk, or sorry, split jerk. Last round, let's go. Good job, 20 seconds. Nine, eight, three, two, one. Curtsy lunge hops, let's go. Last 20 here, 30 second rest, one more circuit.
Good. Woo. Come on, four, three, two, one. Woo. We're going again at 540. If you're looking right here with clean, hang clean and press. Sorry, full clean and press. Looks like this. We're starting from the floor. You're gonna tap. Okay, pull your dumbbells up across your chest. Clean, squat, press. Back down to straight. Here, clean, squat, press. Let's go in two, one. Here we go. Pull it from the floor, Romanian deadlift style. Catch, squat, press. This is your last strength move. Pull it up, sit, press. Good, it's a hinge when you go to the floor. Pull, catch, sit, press. Split that up if you need to, of course. Okay, we got 15 seconds. That's it. Five, four, two, one. Drop your dumbbells, give me high knees. Hands out to the side, right here. Hands up in the air, let's go. Hands out to the side again. And back down for six, five, four, three, two, one. Back to your clean press. Whew. Here we go. Round two of three. Give me all you've got left in that tank. Pull it up, catch, sit, press. There we go. Last 20 right here. Beautiful. Woo. Eight, seven. One more, three, two, one. High knees, let's go. Right back into it. Hands to the side, come on. And up, good. To the side. And pump for five, four, three, two, one. Last round right here, let's go. This is it. Come on, all you've got. Clean, sit, press. Drive those hips on that clean. Power. Sit, reach, sit, come on, 17 seconds, don't stop, all you've got left, let's go, let's go, push it, push it, five, four, two, one, high knees right into it, out here, let's go, this is it, 20 seconds, you're done, come on. Hands up. Hands to the side, let's go right here. All right, let's drop it for seven, six, faster, five, faster, four, three, faster, two, one. And rest. Woo! I want you to drop down hands and knees. Relax your spine. Put all your weight in your hands and your knees. Big deep breath in. Exhale, relax it. Big deep breath in. Swing your left leg up top beside your left hand. Push your hips forward towards that front heel. Woo. Breathe for just a second. Look over towards that bent leg with your chest and open that arm up. Beautiful job, amazing effort. 30 minutes and we cranked it out. Come on back down to the mat. Shift your hips back, pulling that toe up towards your chest. Guys, I'm so proud of you. I know that workout was tough. New style, maybe we haven't done it yet ever, but you definitely haven't done it yet this month. Swing your knees back together and let's switch legs. Okay, right leg up front, push, push, push. Hip forward and down. And we're stepping it up because you are ready. Okay, I want you to see progress in your performance, in your body, in your strength. Most importantly, overall wellness. 
You're stronger, you start to know that in the mat, you start to believe that outside the mat. I want you to know that in all areas of your life, in areas of temptation, in areas of what you consider weakness, which isn't necessarily a weakness, toes back, hips up. It's just that you haven't discovered the solution to how to make it work for yourself. It's not a weakness, it's just what works for you to get through that. If you haven't figured it out yet, you might have deemed it a weakness. You just gotta figure out how to swerve those things that take you off track. Okay, it's different for everyone. Maybe it's not going into the break room and having a good conversation, or maybe it's not sitting down on the couch, but continuing to move. Okay, walk your hands back to your feet. Take a big deep breath in, and I want you to think about what could you do this week. Slowly roll it up to avoid what you consider your weaknesses, which are not your weaknesses, they're just things that you haven't figured out your solution to yet. Pull your heel to your glute, okay? Most likely it's an action step that you haven't tried or you haven't ventured into. So if you always find yourself tired after work and you always sit down on the couch, after work, come in, get your shoes on, just move. Okay, switch legs. If it's always going into the break room to get snacks you don't need, who else can you talk to outside of the break room? Okay, and as the clock rolls down to zero, I want you to think of all of this as your mindset. This is mental strength this week. This is where it comes into play. Nothing is a weakness. It's just something that you haven't discovered what your best avenue for an outlet is, okay? Swerving the foods that you know don't add up to what you wanna eat. Swerving the lack of activities by just not allowing yourself to settle and keep moving, okay? You can't get your hydration up. You just haven't figured out where to put your water bottle or what water bottle you like having around you, okay? It's all just an action step to figuring out what works for you to avoid things that take you off track. They're things that take you off track. They're not weaknesses. If you consider them a weakness, you're going to accept that. And you're always gonna say, this is an area that I can't improve in. But you can. You just have to figure out what is your action step. So I want you to comment below, what is your weakness that you consider this week and what is your action step that you're gonna take to make sure it's not a weakness anymore, but it is just a swerve that you figured out how to move through. Okay, don't accept things as a weakness or don't accept things as something you'll never get better at. You can, you just have to decide to take that action step. So comment below, what is your weakness that you consider? And we're gonna scratch that weakness and move forward into what your action step is to get through that, okay? I'm so proud of you guys today and I love you. Comment below your weakness and your action step. And before you head out, don't forget to like the video if you finished it. Subscribe to the channel so that I know that you guys are using these workouts and they're adding value to your life. And I will see you guys tomorrow.